Hello everyone, welcome back to Fortio Branch Line. In this video, I will try to show you step by step how I restored and detailed a Hornby brake vent. This brake vent came from a cheap train pack, so it's not one of those top range brake vents, and you can tell it is a toy. But if you detail and weather it, it can be a good wagon for your layout. So what I did first was to remove the wheels and paint them with a mix I made of dark grey. This paint is mixed with 50-50 of black and brown to recreate the worn metal that trains have. Next, I washed away with the Tamiya thinner some color from the footplate and the chassis of the van. I didn't like what I did a few years back, so I cleaned it nice and neat, but leaving just the right amount of color in the cracks so that it will have more details to stand out. I used a cotton bun first, but it weren't right away, so I opted to use an old brush I have for this purpose. Remember to use old brushes when doing these jobs, like dry brushing or brushing away color, like I did here. Then with a wide and dry brush, I finished by drying away the thinner, so that the color particles will make the chassis not too shiny and plastic-like. I did the same thing with the door parts and then the body of the van. It already looks nice and weathered, but I wanted to try and make it more weathered to make the plastic effect disappear. Although I cleaned the parts with a thinner, I wanted to make the details of the door parts stand out more, so what I did was to use a wash collar. I use regularly this Citadel wash called uh, non-oil. You can use any kind of panel line collar, you can also water down a dark grey or a black for this purpose, like I did next with the body. With a flat rectangular brush, I brush down the washed out collar so it gets inside the lines and all other cracks. Then I clean it with water only, from top to bottom to simulate rain effects, so I do the same with the two parts later on. Next, I painted those top grey parts of the chassis with a mixed color made out of black, white and brown. It's like the dark grey, but a bit more light and brownish. I do the same with the inside footplate of the van. What I did next was to take a clear plastic card to make the glass for the windows and doors. This will make a bit more interesting and realistic the brake van. I cut out roughly the right size, glue them, and then cut out the excess later on before assembling the wagon. I noticed that the roof didn't have any snap system, so I had to glue it to the body and then assembly the body to the chassis. I figured that the body needed more realistic cleaning around the edges, so I passed another time with a cotton bun and thinner. This way the details and reliefs will stand out more and the color will go into the lines. Next, I worked on the wheels and I took a rust-like color, in this case the Citadel to score fur, and a really old and used brush. I can't send these color names, but they are very good and I've been using them for a long time. I water down the rust color and brush it all around the cracks of the wheels. It doesn't have to be noticeable. Even washed down it will give you an impression of used wheels. While I let the wheels dry, I'll pass on the detailing of handrails and other little details that are supposed to be white. As always, I'm using a Citadel color. It's called Corex White. It's a white that is not too bright and it's perfect for railway modeling.
And now for the final and fun part, using powder colors. I took this powder from some uh, art chalks. This is a mix of brown, white, and yellow. With an old brush, I dust the powder all around the body and chassis. This way, the plastic won't show anymore as plastic and will look more like the real thing. Ah, one more thing I forgot, the side windows. I had to color them black. They look dull, just gray, and it adds more interest to the wagon. Then I took some Tamiya weathering powders and used the black one. It's not so strong and it's perfect for recreate the subtle grime dirt and coal that wagons used to carry on. Again, this will make the model less glossy and plasticky, and more matte. And there you have it, a restored and improved brake van for your layout.